Welcome, everyone, to our Lean channel. This is Mark. If you are a frequent guest to our channel, you may wonder why after more than 100 videos on 9001 I jumped back to elements 4.1 and 4.2 that we covered a long time ago. Well, ISO amended its management system standards in elements 4.1 and 4.2 requiring consideration of climate change issues. Let's see what ISO expects us to do now. Before we dive into it, click the subscribe button so we can keep you posted on our new videos. On February 22, 2024, IAF and ISO issued a joint communique on the addition of climate change considerations to ISO management system standards. The link to the document is in the description below. These amendments affected 9001, 14001, 45001, and some 30 other ISO standards. These changes are not revisions to the standards, just amendments. This decision is to support the ISO London Declaration on Climate Change. ISO passed a resolution that resulted in two new statements being added to several existing management system standards and will be included in all new standards under development and revision. These changes address the need to consider the effect of climate change on the ability to achieve the intended results of the management system. Now, in element 4.1, in addition to the text of the standard, we should determine whether climate change is a relevant issue. With the amendment to Clause 4.2 we may consider the new note reminding that relevant interested parties can have requirements related to climate change. The amendment intended to ensure that organizations considered climate change issues in the framework of the effectiveness of the management system, in addition to all other issues. These additional statements in management system standards ensure that this important topic is not overlooked. As always in our videos, let's look at how we can address these new requirements in our management systems. In previous videos, links are below, we covered our context matrix. It lists, among others, issues and needs of interested parties. To address the new requirements, we can use this context matrix. Listing climate change as an issue, we will perform the SWOT analysis, assess risks and opportunities, identify needed actions, and others. If any of our interested parties have the relevant requirements, we can also address them in the matrix. After these changes have taken effect, expect your certification body auditors to ask you about climate change considerations. Speaking about auditing, on March 19, 2024, ISO and IAF, ISO 9001 Auditing Practices Group issued guidance on auditing climate change issues in ISO 9001. I found this document overwhelmingly wordy and pointless. But if you are interested, the link is in the description below. This is all for today folks. Let's summarize these new changes. Determine whether climate change is a relevant issue. Assess if relevant interested parties have requirements related to climate change. Use context matrix to document applicable climate change issues. As always, feel free to browse our free downloads. Go to the Academy page on our website and see how our context matrix template can help simplify your management system. Thank you for subscribing, sharing, your likes, and comments. Your support helps us promote our Lean QMS project. To learn more about Lean ISO management systems, check out my book, The Lean Revolution. Thanks for joining me today and stay tuned for the following videos. I hope to see you then.